I work as an insurance agent. My wife, she's a stay-at-home mom. We have two boys. Corey is seven. <laughs> Chase is three. Chase, did you do that? Yeah. Why did you do that? Basically, we traveled a lot before the children. Our life was great. Um, we both had our careers. We didn't realize that once we had children, we had to give up almost 100% of us. <laughs> All right, sit down, sit down, sit down. Don't put your hands on me. Don't hit mommy. Wait till, you know. Wait till your father gets home, you're gonna be in trouble, you're gonna be punished. Who's in charge? Mom, dad, or the kids? Ah! Ah! Corey is our first child. He has a very stubborn personality. Open the door, mommy. Well, I'm gonna go to the garage way. Come on, Corey. Ah, oh, this is crazy. Go away, go away, Dad. Chase is learning by the example of Corey. No, I said yes. Our children kick us. No way. Chris, he just kicked me in the ribs. Curse at us. <laughs> Get away from me, you animal. Throw things at us. Don't do that. And just totally disrespect us. If they don't get their way, then they act out with anger. Don't pinch me! I hate you, Mommy. Look at this behavior. When I discipline the children, Colleen will come in and interfere. Oh, hey, stop. I can't. Excuse me, Colleen, please. Just hug him. Just... I did hug him. What are you talking I'm about? So hard with yeah, him. I know. We don't agree on parenting techniques. We don't even know what a parenting right. technique is. We don't have nothing. <laughs> Ow! Don't bite me! What are you biting me for? Yeah. Get away from me, or I'm gonna kill you. I would love for my children to respect me. Don't. Ouch! Yes, yeah, Super Nanny, we need your help. Our whole family's falling apart. This has got to stop right now. I'm on my way. I'm Chris. Nice to meet you, Chris. Nice to meet you. Joe. My first impression of the super nanny when she arrives, I felt relieved. <laughs> I'm like, I've been waiting a long time for her to come and help us. Hi, I'm Colleen. Hi, Colleen. Pleased to meet you. Welcome to our home. This is Chase. Hi, Chase. Grace. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Joe seems to be a very warm person and very interested in our family. What's your Sorry. name? Hi, Corey. Pleased to meet you. Well, I'm here. Okay, great. To observe and watch the dynamics of your family. So okay. feel free mm -hmm. to carry on as if I'm not here and I'm going to watch you throughout your day. Okay, great. We're very happy you're here. <laughs> great. All right, Corey and Chase, I got your food, guys. I want you to sit up. When I first walked into the house, the parents were doing breakfast. Corey, is that what you're having for breakfast? Jelly beans. <laughs> Oh. No, Chase, that's not very nice. Guys, you know you're not supposed to have candy before breakfast. Give me the gum. <coughs> Give me the gum. Here. Chew it up and then spit it out of my hand. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. What? Yeah. Don't yell at me. What are you yelling for? I'm not getting it right now. You take a bite. Don't put your hands up at me. Don't hit me. Did I miss a baby? There's the baby. Chase, these are yours. I think it's ridiculous that Chase has a bottle. He's three years old. He's a big boy. He's not a baby. Bye, right, have a good day. You too. Bye. Can you say please? I want it. Stop that. Chase, it's not very nice how you're acting. Here. Dad went off to work and Mum had Corrie and Chase and Chase started to have a temper tantrum. No, that's not nice. Come on. Come here. Come on. Would you like to do some... Don't push, Mommy. Go away. Mommy wants to put the light back no! on so we can see. Come on. Look at you're making Joe sad. Sorry? I told him he's making you sad. Why did you tell him that? Oh, so he just feels bad, so he stops. I was a bit shocked that Colleen involved me when she was trying to discipline Chase. I just thought, why are you doing that? Do you want me to read you a book? Away. <clears throat> Don't pinch at me, come on. Colleen's day with the children is completely unstructured. Don't pinch at me, come on. No. They don't do anything in the house that's productive. No, no, don't do that. Why are you doing that? The children are constantly bored in the house. So they look for things to do. They want to try and make some fun for themselves. Chase Christensen, come back here. 
stop now. Corey, you shouldn't stand on there, hon. You'll get hurt. The fun they're making is mischief. Corey, I'm not playing games with you right now. And whilst the cat's away, the mice continue to play. Corey was so bored around mid-morning that he ran out of the house to go and get one of his friends to play with. Corey, come back in the house, please. Chase. Oh, Chase has locked us out now. <laughs> so wait, are you being serious? We're really locked outside? Yes. So how are we going to get in? Chase! Can you please open the door? No! This is crazy. I'm laughing. I can't believe I'm actually stuck outside your home. Chase had locked us out and we couldn't do anything. And there was Mum at the window begging Chase to open up the door. I mean, just ridiculous. Chase! If you're a good boy, Mummy will give you candy. Mum needed to get back into the house, so she started to bribe Chase. Eventually, it worked. <laughs> OK, thank you. And he's decided to let us in. What? That wasn't Ooh. very nice of you. <laughs> Left poor Joe outside. Chase's behaviour is absolutely ridiculous. After he lets us back in, it got worse. Don't pinch at me. <laughs> is that the kind of behaviour you get from Chase? From Chase pinching, yes. Corey will also pinch me well, once in a while if he gets angry at me. <laughs> but I won't let him do something. But, um... No! No, that's not nice to do to Mommy. Come on. Mommy wants you to stop. I want you to calm down. Calm down. Sometimes I have to just walk away from him until he calms down. So every time I go towards him, he starts acting out more. But you still have to go get dressed in your other clothes. Can you come upstairs and get dressed? Corey? Because you're not going to be able to play with Adam or anybody later. While your, while your brother comes down now that he's breaking the door now. Well, it's not very nice to break the door. Oh, he did break it. Chase was so angry that he was now becoming destructive. I couldn't believe what he was doing. Get out! Okay, you're going to sit here by yourself then again. Ooh. Can you just slam that door in your face? Yes, he did. Mum said nothing. Oh, dear. What I recognise in this family is that the children gain so much control that it's almost like the parents are scared to actually deal with the consequences of that behaviour. It's worse when his brother is home because he wants to pick the winter together. But if I have him on my own, then I can handle him. But then if I'm going back and forth between the two of them, it's very, very difficult. It's just, I feel like a failure. I think it's sad that Mum puts up with it. And emotionally, she's broke. Yeah. Hello. Hey, hon. How are you? Good. Hi, Chris. Good. Hello, hello. <laughs> it's been a crazy day. <laughs> It's been very crazy. When Chris came home from work, Mum was there ready to let off steam and tell Chris how naughty the children had behaved. He broke the door in the laundry room. What? He broke the door in the laundry room to try to peek out. Is it, what do you mean? Let's go see that. It. It's broken. Yeah. <laughs> broke the door? How did he break the door? What did you do with him? Nothing. I didn't do anything. I let him cry in there. Until so he calmed down because he was kicking me and everything. There? Mm -hmm. You put him in a room? No, I put him up in his room at one point. I mean, you lock him in there? to calm him down. No. You just, him, you just let him cry, okay. You broke that door, right? Not there. On the bottom. Yeah, yes, I know that. On the bottom, you broke the door, right? Show me where you broke. Go ahead, point to it. In this household, it's very apparent that Chris has to deal with all the discipline when he comes home. I didn't broke it. You broke the door, right? I didn't. Why did you break the door? I didn't break it. Did you ask why you broke the door? I know why he broke it out of the tantrum. Polly, I know he broke the door. You know he broke the door. You know why he did it. I want him to... Uh... Well, he's three. He's not well, three. So what that has nothing to do with it? That's ridiculous. I'll tell you what's ridiculous. Mum and Dad arguing like a pair of teenagers in front of their children. I'm starting a conversation with you. I'm trying to talk to you. That's fine. I'm, I don't... He can't. See, he cannot come home. He, can, he can never to, talk Connelly? to me. You're talking because to me. Because it's hard. No, you can't me. communicate. Talk you just don't. You're in your own world. There is so much tension between Mum and Dad. And those kids are hearing every word. 
and they're like two bombs ticking, 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 and I don't even know when it's going to explode. I don't want he's having a dinner. I told him about 100 times not to have that. She told you no, too. Now get over there. Not 100 times. Don't pinch me. He just pinched Stop me. Stop it. Mum's basically given all the authority to Dad, and it's undermining her position as mum in the household. Did you just pinch Mommy? Did you? No. Yeah? Well, go sit down. Yeah, that's right, that's right. I would have done that. We got it. Let's go sit down. Don't put your... Don't curse at me. You don't put your hands on your mother. <laughs> don't scratch me. Don't hit me. You sit there and then you... Don't, I'm warning you not to put that, don't throw that at me. You could see that Dad has reached the end of his tether. He shouts and he yells. His children are a reflection of him because they do the same back. Come on, you go to your room. You want to sit there and play with me? Why are you crying? Because I put you in your room because you called me names and kicked me? Why well, I think you need to get in your room. We picked them up. Scream at the bottom of the step. What do you mean? I'm not screaming at the bottom. Who's screaming at the bottom of the step? What are you talking about? I mean, you are now. No, I'm not screaming. Queen knows what I'm screaming. I picked them up before. I, I no, think I, I did okay. I like yelling at him, standing back and forth, doing it like a... Okay. Like, so put him back in, what we're saying? Is that what you're well, saying? Well, we want him to be in there longer, take oh, him yeah. out of the hand and tell him. Right. After I have observed the family, okay. I sit down with the mum and dad. I need to be honest and tell them the issues and how we're going to resolve them. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. I've seen enough, so I think it's time to talk. So let's go through and have a chat. OK, okay. great. Thank you. I was most worried about Joe saying that I was a bad mother and I wasn't doing my job properly. A little bit of nervousness because didn't know what to expect, but excited at the same time. What two lovely boys you have. Lovely home. Thank you. Thanks a lot. The family that you have takes a lot of hard work. But when did you give up? <sighs> when did you stop the love and the joy that isn't in this house anymore? I'm trying to bring that back together. Sad. I see two parents in this house that are not enjoying the role you've been blessed to have. And it's sad. Behaviour in this house is a seriously big issue. Your sons swear at you and they kick you and they punch you. I know. How much abuse do the pair of you want to take from your own kids? It's so shocking that it's become sad. Your children behave appallingly. They have no respect. It's disgusting. And yet, there is no discipline for it. The way you deal with discipline, Chris, you shout and you yell at them and you grab them. You've lost control with the kids. And I've walked into a house where, really, there's, there's four kids in this house. <laughs> It is. We're, I guess we're very immature. It's not funny. No, it's not. I really don't find it funny. No, I'm not You laughing. guys are the parents here. And when your children misbehave, you act like teenagers. Tit for tat, tit for tat. I suggest the pair of you grow up right now and get real with the responsibilities of what you have in front of your face. Colleen, the lights are on, but no one's in. That's what comes to mind. Your body posture's low. You've given up. Your children know you've given up. You just walk around the house every day, switched off. I do that. I, I totally ignore it because it's difficult for me to deal with. It's called taking responsibility. It's about recognising that you're a mother. I know that it's hard, otherwise I wouldn't be here. But I don't want to hear excuses. I don't want to hear from the pair of you We've quit, we've give up. Because you can't. You've got two young children, and the price that the pair of you are gonna pay as parents, trust me, is gonna be steep. If you don't get a grip on this, you guys have got to be 100% dedicated and committed to one another 
and to your children because your kids are a reflection on yourselves. It was difficult for me to hear, you're not a child anymore, start acting like a parent. Nobody wants to hear the truth, so I, I would have to say it was very sad to hear what she had to say. Okay. Okay. Let's get started with some work. Yeah. On the first day of teaching, I give the family a routine. For the Christiansons, I've given them a parent schedule so that there is a structure to their day. This is what you guys need in this house, okay? When Joe brought in the parent schedule, I felt a sense of relief because I was like, wow, this is really great. Now I have a schedule for my family. At 7.30, the kids are to get up, washed and dressed and then take Corrie to school. Okay. Between 9 and 10, Mum, this is going to be your playtime with Chase. I want you to have mummy and me time. Okay. At 4 p.m., mum and me time with Corrie. You need to give him your time as well. And then at 5 o'clock, he can sit down and do his homework at the table. And at 6 p.m., I want you to sit down and have dinner. And let's give lots of affirmation and praise about what each person did during the day and how wonderful it was. How do you feel about that? Very excited. <laughs> I love it. This is great. This is a great thing that we need. I was actually a smile from ear to ear. This household desperately needed discipline. The children were always pushing the limits. So I gave mom and dad the cool down area, which was two bean bags, where the children would go if they misbehaved. No swearing, no hitting, no kicking or biting, okay? When your children have a temper tantrum, they will go to the cool-down area. After I've introduced the discipline technique, I'll wait around for a moment to happen where I can help the parents enforce the technique. <coughs> Didn't have to wait long. No, I'm not either. Chase, Daddy, Chase, look at Daddy. I'm gonna give you one warning. Daddy's gonna put you in the cool-down area if you don't calm down and eat your food, okay? Just eat your food and then you can go out and play. You sit down here for three minutes and you think about what you did. Because you didn't listen to Daddy. Come down to his level Chase. and talk to him. Come down. Chase. Chase. A low authority voice. Chase, the reason Daddy's putting you here is because you didn't listen to me and eat your food. Okay. Walk away. Say nothing and just put him back onto the bean bag. No, 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 no. I want to go. No! Daddy! Come here. How are you feeling? Good? Good. Yeah. Good. You're doing good. It'll take some time, I know. Yeah, but you're doing so I'm well. Breaking, yeah? I'm doing good. You're doing so well. You're breaking that cycle. I want, like, an apology for you for no, not eating your food. Say, Daddy, I'm sorry. No, that's what, no. You don't want to say you're sorry? No. no. Then I'm going to have this little chain to cool down. Stay there for a few more minutes, OK? No. Does he understand that not eating his lunch was a bad behavior? What, what is it that you're feeling right now? <laughs> no, no, I just feel bad that he's upset. That's but, it. But That's you should. That screaming, what's your child doing? I have to get out for attention. As a mother, you know your children and you know what Chase is doing. That is a good thing because okay. you recognize it, OK? So grab it, take it and go, as a mum, I know exactly what my child's doing. As a mum, I know okay. exactly what my child's exactly. doing. Exactly. And that's what we want. We want that positive attitude. <laughs> In a minute, when you go over to him, OK, and say to him, I want an apology for your behaviour, OK? I want you to say you're sorry. Last time, would you, I need you to say you're sorry. I want to apologize. OK. Fair enough. OK, we're working on this here, OK? That was good, you're starting there. But you need to lower your voice when you say that, OK? OK, and put your arms out. So you want to say sorry? Say he said sorry. he was sorry. Give Daddy okay. a hug and tell me you're sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Mm. Come here. And kisses. The mummy and me technique is very important because it's going to teach Colleen how to play 
with her children, how to reconnect with her children and enjoy spending time with them. This is going to be the special mummy and me box, OK? Because what this box is going to have in it is things that you can do with mummy. Mum, come in. Chase, you going to play? Come on. Ah, oh, well done, Corey. The way you keep children engaged is by making the game seem exciting. Oh, <gasps> wow, look at you, clever! You bring them into it, OK? Mm -hmm. Wow, Mummy's going to go next. Do you think it's going to fall? Go on, take your piece, yeah. Mum really tried hard to play with the children and to get them involved in a game. And the children were very receptive to it. I felt closer to my children using the Mommy and Me box. I felt like everybody was happy. Oh, no. No. Children must be allowed to breathe and be kids and get mucky and, and have sticky fingers and enjoy themselves. That's what it's about, getting all your fingers sticky and having fun. Well, get your hands all sticky, then afterwards you can wash them. Do you want to make a snake? Let's roll it like this. Roll it like this. Finished. Any one more? Look at it. Great. I like it a lot. Cory had made an alligator, and Chase destroyed it. Oh no! <laughs> Sit down. You don't destroy your brother's property. Mum was so angry. That was not nice. He worked very hard she on that. She put Chase straight in the cool-down area. It worked perfectly. I was very annoyed that Corey's alligator got ruined, so I found the strength to put Chase in the cool-down section. Tell Corey you're sorry. Sorry. OK. OK. That's very good. She did a very good job, and I was very proud of her. I want to move Chase on from this bottle. He's three years old. Right. He doesn't need it. I've got here. Okay, the special cup. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to say goodbye to the bottle. Mum, I want you to do this okay. with Chase. Okay. I think this is important <laughs> that you do this, okay? Because you need to let go of this baby thing. All right. Okay. Chase, look it. You're a big boy now, and you're not gonna have you're not gonna have the bottle anymore. But look at you, you have your new cup. Look at your new cup. Don't cry, don't cry. Look at mommy's gonna get rid of the bottle. You don't need it anymore. You don't need the bottle anymore, okay? We're gonna throw it out, okay? No, don't throw it. I won't throw it out. I'll put it away. No. Excuse me. Let me. Can I just interrupt? Chase. 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 Collie's gonna do this. So why are you gonna come here? And Mommy's going to okay. take the bottle and put it away because you're a big boy now. And we're going to no. give you a big boy oh, cup. No. I want to keep my bottle. So because he's now screaming for it, uh -huh. he's got you scared of that. He's got you right, feeling sorry I, for him. I feel sorry for him, right. So Chase has learned to have a temper tantrum to get what he wants. We're going to get rid of the bottle now because you're a big boy, OK? Only babies have bottles and you're not Mummy's baby. Chase, look it. This is the... This is your big boy cup because you're big. Look how nice it is. You're not a baby anymore. You, mommy's going to take the bottle and we're going to get rid of it, OK? Yeah, Mommy's going to take it. Mommy's going to take it. Mommy's going to throw it in the garbage. I'll take the garbage out and say, Tom. I'm so going to be like, Take it from him. Take it from him. Give me the garbage. Can you? No, I want Mommy to do it. Look at this cool cup. I know. Well, let's just take a look at it. I know you don't want it, but just take it out. Look at this. Watch it, watch it turn. Watch the colors. See? I don't know. I kind of like Seahorse it. Seahorse on Wow. I'm going to leave you guys for a couple of days to implement all the techniques that you've learnt. Make sure you stick to the parent schedule. You guys badly needed a constructive day. Mummy and me time. Children need that one-to-one -one attention. Thank you very much. Keep strong. <laughs> Take care. Thank Keep communicating, you two. Yes. yes. All right. Okay. Great. Keep Thank you. See you soon. Okay. See you soon. Say bye bye. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. bye. Little do they know, I'm going to be keeping a sharp eye on the pair of them. No, wait for me. Don't hit. Corey, you don't hit. Wait a minute. Stop. 
Come on, so why are they arguing? Put them both in, in the cool out time now. Well, they need to both, I don't care. Dad, back off. Now you've got to discuss this with Chris. If Corey hit him, what are you going to do with Corey for hitting him? I'm sorry to say, but sorry. <sighs> Corey needs to be put in the cool down chair. Please go handle the situation. You think so? Yeah, I, yeah. Corey. I know you say I'm sorry. I know, but you have to learn not to hit people. Let's take nothing there. And Chase is too, because he hit you. Come. Who's hurting me? Well. Why did he hit me first? You guys know we'll be back to talk about it in a few minutes. Dad, why are you getting involved? Oh, Where's my cup? Why put my cup? Ah. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Colleen, you should have been doing this. Corey, you do not hit anyone in this house. If you have a problem with anybody in this house, Corey, you come to Mommy or Daddy. Mom, you're taking a back seat in this. Since you spend a lot of mommy and time during the day when daddy's at work, you want to have daddy time and play a game? He it's, read the chart, you heard the man. It's a weekend, I'm, I'm so kidding. you can Daddy will spend some time with you because no. daddy's not here. We're, no. we're all going to play together, OK? OK, so you're all together. This is good. Yeah. <laughs> OK, you guys can Chase. play this game, and I'm going to pass. I'm just one, so you can have some daddy time with them. You're going to pass on it? No, no, no. There'll be no passing in this house. <laughs> Colleen. What's happened? You're meant to be engaging the children. You can spend some time with us. I'm going to go in for about 10 minutes, and I'll be right back. Do you mind? No, you, no, you stay here, mother. Oh, really? Exactly. Cory wants you to stay with him. Don't go. Cory, we're not playing Duck Duck Goose, OK? Yeah. I'll be back. Oh, come on, Mum. Where's your enthusiasm? Oh, so much for Mummy and Me time, then. You know what? Sit in your chair. <laughs> Sit in your chair. What did he do? I didn't. He put his hands on me. I did not even touch you. He went to swing at me. Do not swing at your father. <laughs> this is not good. We do not put our hands up to daddy. Okay? I'll be back. I didn't see him do it. You're imagining that. Look at the pair of you arguing in front of the children. As your husband, I'm telling you to believe me what I saw. And what you're saying to me right now is I'm not telling you the truth. Is that what you're saying? I'm asking you because that's what I saw. You're hot-headed, the pair of you. You both need to calm down. You're not using the technique oh. properly. Excuse me, you're driving I just, me nuts. Why am I driving you nuts? Because you put him in the seat because he swung at you. This is very disappointing, guys. I'm a little upset. There was no arguing with my wife once she sticks to her ground. It's like she just went back to herself. I didn't do it. Mommy didn't do anything. We need to talk. Hi. Hiya, how are you? Good, how are you? Well, while I've been away for a couple of days, I've had a look at some footage, and I'd like to talk to you both now, so can we go over to the table and have a chat? It's the real stepping stone because they're able to see the mistakes they've made so that they can tweak that and, and make it correct. You guys can play this game and I'm going to pass. I'm just one, so you can have some daddy time with them. You're going to pass on it? No, no, no. You're There'll pass. be no passing in this house. Mummy and me time is crucial. I know you need your time, right. but... Your children need that time. This was a time when Daddy was home that you should have been then embracing it as a family. It's about the kids first. Don't hit. Corey, you don't hit. Uh, put them both in cool out time. Corey needs to be put in the cool down chair. Please go handle the situation. Why did he hit me first? You do not hit anyone in this house. Right, Dad, stop taking over there and stop intervening. Let mum deal with the discipline. You know you can do it. Mm -hmm. Have him sit up and listen to you. Okay. All right? Get him, get him away from me. You know what? <laughs> sit in your chair. <laughs> sit in your chair. We do not put our hands up to daddy. You're not okay? using the technique oh. properly. Excuse me, You're driving I just, me nuts. Why am I driving you nuts? Because you put him in the seat. Grow up the pair of you. Grow up. Start communicating. 
start listening to one another, start respecting what the other one has to say. Because when you start to argue, you both lose your call, cool, you get angry with one another, and your kids listen to everything, and then they get dragged into everything. It's not fair on them. Still a lot of work to do, and in general, we need to be able to focus on how the pair of you deal with your children together, OK? And uh, we'll see how today goes. Sounds good. OK, sounds great. All right. What I thought was awful on the DVD was just the arguing between um, my husband and I. It was a little shocking. I said, well, we need to stop this. When we were watching the DVD with Joe, I felt we still have some issues that me and Colleen need to handle. So when someone's sitting there telling me, this is what you need to do, I'm going to do it. The communication zone technique is what I introduced for Chris and Colleen to start them talking again. So I gave them each a box to write down their thoughts and suggested they go to their room where they could talk away from the kids. Because it's desperately needed for mum and dad, they both need to really say what they mean to one another. We're supposed to exchange boxes. One for you, one for me. Right. OK. And I'll go first. OK. It says, I think we should discuss the techniques. When I discipline the children, they always say, I don't think you did this right, or I don't think you did that right. So instead of you coming to me and saying, Chris, you you, uh, you did it wrong in front of the kids or something like that. What I'm asking you is to do is talk to me later about it because I just don't want to talk in front of the children. That's right. All. Okay. My turn. I think you use the cool down section too often. I think you have to only use the cool down section right. when it's really, really needed. Because if you use it like 10 times in a row, then it's not going to be effective when we really need to use it. He's not going to care he's gonna, if he's sitting there anymore. I don't agree with that. I think if a child doesn't listen to you now, what makes you think he's going to listen to you when he gets older? We need to communicate. I mean, that's something that we've been missing. And I think this is what's going to make us happier. I think we work on it together. Once we work together, as a team, and we improve our communication with one another. Good job, honey. There's going to be a huge change in our children's behavior. Colleen and Chris still aren't on the same page when it comes to implementing discipline. So it's important that they come together and work through what they felt the unacceptable behavior is. Now the pair of you have got discipline in place. But what the pair of you do need to do is to discuss your household rules and write it down on the board. No yelling. No yelling, I agree. No hitting and pinching. Eat your food at the table. I agree, that's a good one. Great. How about no talking back? No cursing. Ask permission to leave the house. Right. For the first time, they were communicating as parents how they wanted their children to be brought up. Practice good matters, be courteous. Mommy and Daddy may think of something in the future that we might have missed, but mm -hmm. let's take it from that point on, you know? Does that sound good? That sounds good. I think the household rules is going to make a huge improvement. I'm glad she came out with that, because we needed that. <laughs> All right, fair. When Chris and I were doing the rules, I felt for the first time we were working together as a team and making decisions for our children. And I think that was the missing piece of the puzzle. Today it was important to do more work on mummy and me time because I wanted to show Colleen if she gives a little bit of her heart and time to those kids, what she'll get back. <laughs> Mommy's going to play a game. You guys want to play monkey in the middle? Get the ball, Chase. Like, come on, Chase, get the ball. Go, the Chase, get it. Oh, no. Hey. Mommy can't get it. Get it. OK, so, Mum, when Chase goes uh -huh. to grab that ball, run as if you're going to grab it. So you make him go because he'll okay. want to grab it before you. Ah! Mom, Chris, I got it! You got it! Mum, we don't care how we look, what we're doing, we're having fun, OK? Mum needs to loosen up and uh, get with the action and enjoy her company. Mum, take your shoes off. Are these? Take your shoes off, yeah. Right. Oh, inhibition's gone. Ready? It's all yeah. of this, it's high Wait, energy. Joe's just going to try and stop you. Ready? Going to get more positive to Corey. Quick, oh! Quick, 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 quick! quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want you to do the same. Just keep okay. it high energy. Uh -huh. I wanted mum to little uh, inhibitions down. I wanted her to be silly mum and just get wrapped up with having fun and enjoying okay, the children. Yeah, to so just lighten up. Get it! Get it! Get it! Yeah, okay, let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Let's be silly mummy. Oh, no! I got it. I got it. 
felt really good today playing with my boys because I was like a little kid. I have to let my guard down a little bit and not be self-conscious of what people think and something that I need to work on with myself. Have fun with it. If you're rolling on the floor and you're tickling them and you're laughing with them, go with it. It's all part of the fun. You're outside. I liked it today when Colleen was playing with the kids and Joe helped get Colleen involved. And to be honest, it was, it was I made me very happy to see that. Look at Corey's going to be the monkey in the middle now. Look. You're doing a good job. Throw the mummy. Yay! The response from the children was absolutely beautiful. So I hope that mum continues to just carry on with the kids like that. Come on, guys. We're going <laughs> to get mummy. Come on. Everybody, let's go get mummy. Woohoo! You going to come and say goodbye to me? Let's go say goodbye. Yeah. When I first walked into the Christensen's home, it was full of a lot of negativity. The energy was very low. Give hugs. Now, the children have structure and they have a routine that's made them more secure. Can I have a cuddle, please? <laughs> Can I have a cuddle? <laughs> huh? Can I take you take care. so much? Mommy, thank you for that. You're more than welcome. Chris, take care, yeah? yeah. Take care of yourself. God bless. Be strong, keep talking. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Chris and Colleen they have now come together and decided what behaviour is going to be unacceptable in their household. And that's very important for them both. I began seeing the family now starting to be happier. I didn't feel we had any respect from the children at all. Now I think we've earned the respect. We're parents now. I see a big change in Chase. He's listening and he's doing what we tell him to do. Papa. Now here's your glass of milk. If I had realized it was that easy to get rid of Chase's bottle, I would have used a technique two years ago. I like doing your helps me. <laughs> Corey's very happy. Before, Corey used to walk around all set and bored. But now we have things to do. We have a structure. He loves the chart very much and he loves order. Through this whole process, I've learned that giving them love and showing them happiness by just playing a simple game with them is fine. And the important things of life is just having fun. <laughs> I'm able to concentrate and focus more on my children. And they are showing, actually, more affection to me because of this. Quite big hug. Our family was in total chaos before Joe came, and I just see smiles on my children's faces, and it's it's great. The impact that Joe has had on our family has been a big 360 degrees. Our family used to be so stressed out, always yelling. Our family's happy now. <laughs>